Good afternoon, and today we're talking about K14 hybrid, and one of them is I've lined it up alongside our S300. Uh, well, I say ours, it's Borg Warners, it's one that we stock because we utilise it a lot on the 606. The S300, the S200, and the K14. Uh, and to give you an idea of like horsepower, uh, obviously these are all the trims that we found that work really well, but 600 plus, uh, 400 or thereabouts, really nice medium range quick spooling turbo, and then this is sort of 300, uh, really fast spooling turbo. But the best thing about the K14, and the reason why I'm showing you it today, is this is a direct fit unit. So the unit is built um, on the the, the housing of an original K14 from the OM606 and then pretty much everything after that is custom. Um, it's got billet compressor wheel which gives us a, a nice amount of efficiency increase and flow increase. Um, it's also got uh, a custom billet back on the uh, on the turbo which is really nice if you have a look at that. Um, nice CNC actuator bracket which is really nice. And then the core's upgraded with uh, a slightly higher performing bearing, but not, not a ball bearing, none of these are ball bearing. We tend to find with the high pressure uh, applications that we do that a journal bearing actually works really well. Um, so this one's equipped with a 1.4 bar actuator, and that's what we tend to use. Be very wary about any companies or anybody that would suggest a turbo of this nature is gonna be um, really in any efficiency range beyond sort of 1.6, 1.8 bar because it's really not feasible. Um, the, uh, the whole compressor side and everything, it just starts to, to really go out of its efficiency if you, uh, if you start to push there. So this set with a 1.4 actuator, these are really good. Um, if you just bleed the boost a little bit and you want to just up that, you can get into the 300 horsepower of the crank range and the spool up is so fast. This literally takes half an hour um, to fit, assuming all your balls send it in to put a snap off. Um, and it's just a really great option for people that are wanting a nice quick spool in small solution. So there you go, the beauty that is the uh, uh, V2 hybrid. Go out and buy one today.